practice works what's new video for version 9.0 click continue when you are ready to proceed hard tissue tab enhancements several enhancements have been made to the hard tissue tab of the treatment card all in support of the new functionality that enables multiple users to work in the same patient's clipboard and chart simultaneously. Collectively, this new functionality improves the efficiency of your daily workflow and ultimately enables you to work the way you've been wanting to work all along. To help highlight the hard tissue tab enhancements, we'll check in and seat a patient, and then open his chart. First, the Chart Mode radio buttons for existing, completed, and proposed treatment have been replaced with traditional rectangular buttons. Click a Mode button to perform that type of work. The button itself is highlighted gray to indicate which mode you are currently working in. When posting completed treatment, the Post Work button is active. This is a new button, previously called Suspend. Only one user can post completed treatment in a patient's chart at any given time. This is nothing new as this type of work directly affects the patient's ledger. When you are finished charting completed work, click Post Work. The chart mode switches back to existing, enabling other users to post completed treatment or check the patient out while enabling you to enter notes, prescriptions, or other patient care entries. Another visual enhancement is the addition of the Treatment Plan button just above the Chart Mode buttons. Easily view and edit an existing plan or create a new treatment plan and add it directly to the patient's chart without having to leave the Hard Tissue tab. This button has also been added to the Soft Tissue and Progress Notes tabs. Finally, a new Refresh button has been added in the upper right corner of the treatment card which enables you to dynamically refresh the patient's chart information and ensure that the most current work is displayed in your view. This is valuable now that multiple users are able to work in the same patient's chart at one time. Multiple users in a patient's chart. We are excited to introduce new functionality in version 9.0 that enables your staff to work in the same patient's chart simultaneously. No more being locked out of a chart because another staff member has it opened in another area of the office. Now, the front desk, hygienist, and doctor can all access and view a chart at the same time from different workstations. When working with a chart in existing mode, any number of staff members can view and perform certain tasks in the chart at the same time. It is important to note that only one user can be in completed mode for a patient at any given time. Multiple users can be in proposed mode at the same time, but only if they are working on different treatment plans. For instance, the chart on the left is being used in completed mode by staff member number one. If another staff member tries to access the completed mode at the same time from another workstation, the chart on the right, they receive a message informing them that user XYZ is currently completing work on workstation 123. When staff member number one is finished charting work, she clicks the new Post Work button, previously called Suspend. The chart is placed back into existing mode. It also changes the appointment in the appointment book to red and enables the front desk to check the patient out. Let's look at the new refresh button again. Assume staff member number one also proposes treatment in the patient's chart and posts the work. Staff member number two still has the chart open on her workstation and clicks refresh to ensure her view includes the most recent work done in the patient's chart by her coworker. The same functionality applies to the proposed chart mode as well. If staff member number one is proposing treatment in a chart and staff member number two tries to access the same treatment plan in proposed mode, the treatment plan window displays but the chart remains in existing mode. Staff member number two does not have the option to edit the highlighted treatment plan since it is actively being worked on by staff member number one. 
she can only view the treatment plan. She can, however, edit a different treatment plan or create a new one. If, while viewing the locked treatment plan, staff member number two tries again to access the proposed mode, a message is displayed informing her that the plan is currently being edited by another user. Multiple Users in a Patient's Clipboard The new multi-user functionality in version 9.0 extends to the patient clipboard as well. It is now possible for more than one staff member to edit a patient's clipboard at the same time. For instance, perhaps one user is entering a payment while another user is updating patient contact info, like address or phone number. All edits are saved unless two users are editing the same field at the same time. In such a case, the edits of the last user to close the clipboard are saved. Multiple users in a patient's clipboard and chart. It is now possible, for instance, for one user to update a patient's insurance information at the front desk while the doctor or hygienist is charting work or proposing treatment while the patient is back in the chair. 2019 CDT Code Update Users of version 9.0 will enjoy automatic CDT code updates as they become available. When you log into PracticeWorks for the first time after updating to this version of the software, a message displays alerting you that the 2019 CDT code set is available. Once you install the 2019 codes, the software will automatically update your CDT codes year after year, enabling you to file claims and receive reimbursements without concern that the correct codes are being used. This concludes the What's New video for CS PracticeWorks version 9.0.